So what do we do when we need to factor a quadratic trinomial with fractions? It gets kind of tricky because we don't like fractions, right? They make things everything difficult. When we're trying to factor, especially when we have a quadratic trinomial, we're trying to identify what two numbers multiply to give us a one and add to give us a five halves. But when we start to deal with fractions, it just makes things a lot more confusing. So one thing I want to remind you of is what did we do when we had fractions when we were trying to, let's say, solve linear equations? Okay, so let's just say here's a problem. You know, we have a linear equation going back to the good old days of algebra one. And you know what, just to make this problem even easier, I'm just gonna put this as a two. Doesn't really matter, the same process and thought and approach is gonna be the same. But one thing we did is we said, well, why try to deal, do the inverse operations here with fractions? What we simply can do is when we're solving an equation, as long as we, whatever we apply to both sides, we're not actually changing the equations. But let's get rid of this two in the denominator. And the way to do that would be to multiply everything by a two. There you go. Make sure you multiply everything by two, right? Because again, two in the numerator, two in the denominator, those are gonna divide to one. And now we're just simply left with a, a two-step equation, which actually is gonna come out to an integer, which, you know, I'm actually, I just randomly made that up. That's pretty good. Okay, and divide by three on both sides. Don't wanna go so slow. But anyways, <laughs> that's not part of the problem. This is what we're focused on. How can we take our understanding of what we did here to apply here? Well, we don't have an equation, right? And if we were to solve a quadratic equation, then guess what? We could just multiply by two to get rid of that denominator, and then we could go ahead and solve either by factoring or quadratic formula. But in this problem, we still need to get rid of the two, but we don't have like two equations on both sides um, to go and deal with. So we're gonna use the same idea, but we're gonna do something a little bit different. So what I need to do is I need to reproduce this exact same equation but without fractions. I know to get rid of this fraction, I need to multiply this equation by two. Okay, so I know I need to multiply by two, but I also need to preserve this equation, right? Just like when we had, I'm sorry, preserve this quadratic or expression. We over here, when we had an equation, the way to preserve it was just to whatever you do on one side and make sure you do it on the other side. Well, over here, what I need to do is if I'm gonna multiply by two, I need to do the same thing on, I, I need to, like undo that operation also on the same side. So I need to multiply that by one half. Now again, I want you to take a quick look here and recognize these two equations are exactly the same, right? I'm just multiplying by two, but also multiplying by one half. Two and one half, that's gonna multiply the one, so they undo each other. However, now what I can do is distribute the two and keep the one half on the outside. Okay, now, I could still multiply that one half, but that's gonna take me back to the original, right? But now I have something where at least I'm dealing with a quadratic that I have integers, and that's why I like to factor, right? Now in this case, what we're looking to be doing is you could do the AC method, box method, diamond method, all the other certain ways. I recognize here though, I am gonna have a two X. So let's go ahead and see if we can figure this out. So I'm gonna have a two X. I know it's going to be a product of two factors. And I know I need to multiply to give me a two. And let's see, so therefore that would be an x. Two x on there. If I add, multiply this by another two, that's gonna give me four plus a one, that would give me five x. So this will be an x plus two and a plus one. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you factor a quadratic when you have a fraction.